Hello everybody, it is Toby here, back for another Minecraft tutorial, and today, due to a request in the comments of the original video, we are going to be doing an update to my How to Build a Minecraft Fishing Hut slash Boathouse tutorial video that I did almost two years ago now. It's like a year and a couple months, like a year, just under a couple months, under two years probably, since we did it. And I'm going to be doing an update to it, and I'm on my city world, so over there you can just see the outline of the gates to my city. And you guys probably haven't seen this world before, but we are going to be doing the boathouse on here. And yes, I know this is an extremely simple build, compared to a lot of the other buildings that I do tutorials on. But considering how popular the original uh, tutorial got with this fishing hut slash boathouse, the need to do an update was not really needed, but I decided to do one anyway due to the request that the staircase on the side was a bit weird, and I thought, why not just do a little update, because I much prefer this design of the boathouse. So, I hope you guys did enjoy the fact that I'm taking the time to do an update to it, and I thank you all so much for the popularity that video has got, but without further ado, let's start on the tutorial. So, I've just thrown this together now, and it's not too complicated. So, we want to probably start, uh, we'll just do it over on this bit here. So you want to get pillars of three oak logs, leave a gap of three, and a gap of three. So you end up with a rectangle that is a total of seven blocks long and five blocks wide. And you get, and yeah, you get that, you leave three blocks between each pillar, so there's a three by three square in the diagonal corners of each of the pillars. There you are, so you get that, and that is the basis of the structure. And then for the staircase on the side, you want to just double check. Okay, yeah, I'm just double checking, double double checking. You want to come three, box out from there, go up three. And over here again, up three. So you get this here. Like so. And then we want to move on to the second floor. So temporarily, you're going to put two oak logs here and here. And on each of them, you're going to go up three. More temporary oak logs there and there, and one in the middle there, and you get that shape. And you want to go in and remove your temporary oak logs, like so, and you get that. That is the front of the boathouse. And then you want to come over to these two bits and just build oak logs across the top of each of these, like so. And something slightly different on this one, you want to do it one block lower for these bits. So you get that. And of course the rain's starting, so let me just toggle the downfall. There we go. And basically you want to build these pillars up now to meet the height of the bottom of the arch here. So this block here you want to meet. And it's very important you don't want to do it on this block here. So you get that. And something I'm going to do is again put more temporary oak logs. There, there, there and there. And similarly like we did before, there, there, there and there. Temporary oak logs in the middle and create two more arch structures and remove your temporary oak logs. So there you go. That is essentially the shape of the framework for the boathouse. The next thing you probably want to do is get your stone brick slabs and slab five slabs, slap five slabs across there like that. And that's going to give you your support for there. And come in here and just grab some stone brick stairs and some stone brick blocks here and here. And this is how you're going to create the bit where the boat goes in, supposedly. So you get that, that and that. You want some more slabs as well. Uh, like so, and you just want to go across here with stairs. So this is the basis for the bit where the boat would go and the floor above. And in the gaps left by the oak logs here, you want to put just some stone bricks to close that off. And there you can see that's where the boat would go. I'm not going to connect it to the water, but the idea is it is connected to the water, so that's where you park your boat. But in this case, I'm just going to leave it up on the ground here because of where we decided to build it. And you just want to go around the rest of the bottom of the structure and put in your stone brick blocks. Except on this bit where you want to put your stone brick blocks one further back. So, like so. So you get that. And that is the base of the house. The next thing we're going to do is put the staircase going up to meet the house. So, stairs, they start one block further forward from your oak log here, so they go there, and there, so there's all the stairs you're going to need to place, you need six cobblestone stairs in total, and then you're going to put it one block up here, and sort of create a corner, like so, and there we are, let's just double check I've done it, yep, I've done that correctly, so 
What you've got here now is a staircase that goes up and meets up where the door's gonna be without being an awkward kind of shape. So it's nice and uh, it's nice to walk up and it's good. And that is basically essentially the main criticism that my last design got. So that design is now good. And now we wanna just drag some stone slabs across the top of this. And in the gaps left, we wanna put oak fences. And I think if you didn't see before, two oak fences and a stair there to create a sort of railing. And then in the bits where we've left gaps, Oak ladders, oak ladders, oak st uh, fences, that's the word. And that creates a nice little railing for the outside of the house. So it is a boathouse, but it's going to have living quarters in it as well, just because yeah, there's space and you can. But there we go, that's the main basis of the build done. We just got to do the walls and the roof now. We're going to do the roof first. So you want to grab bricks, and bricks is a roofing material I don't use relatively often, but in this sense, it works so, so well. So I'm going to use bricks which everyone seems to find quite surprising when you do, but you want to put bricks on top of all of the oak logs at the front of this arch here. And then with your brick stairs, you want to go upside down in the gaps and then upside down one in the middle, and that creates the front of your arch. And on top, you want to put two brick slabs. That is the basis for your arch. And you want to come to the other arch and put a temporary brick stair there, remove that, then do brick stair there, two there, two there, and much like we did with the other one, we are going to put them like so. And depending on your preference, you can either have this brick stair facing this way, or you can either have it facing that way. On the other house, as you can see, if we fly over there really, really quickly, I did it facing that way, and I think that looks the best, but if you really wanted to and maybe it face that way, you could also do that, but I prefer it facing that way, and I suggest you do the same. But it's really, really up to you. And then, of course, you just come back over here and do, again, the same thing with the archway roof, and I realise now that I forgot to put the underside stairs on like so. There you are, you got your same arch as before, and you want to do the exact same over on this arch, with your upside down as well, and there you go, and don't forget the slabs on top like I almost did. You've got the basis for your roof, as you can see we are really, really coming together nice, not my pot filter with my arm, oops. But anyway, yes, yeah, so you want to grab your stairs now and essentially connect the arches together if that makes sense. So you just need to build your brick stairs across until they connect up and you want to do that on both sides and this is a place where you can customize this boathouse i didn't do it because i didn't think it needed it but if you wanted to you could put windows in the roof uh, or a chimney or something like that just to break up the roof but using bricks there is enough texture variation there that i can warrant leaving it as a flat roof and then with the slabs once again you want to connect up the roof and there you go you've got the roof done so as you can see the shaping of the build is really really coming along we are almost done we just want to grab some oak planks and some glass and then what we want to do is just basically go in all of the gaps and fill in the wall leaving space for a window so you can put the windows wherever this is where i'm choosing to put the window and of course in the gap of glass so that's where i'm choosing to put that window but you can mess around with that with these four long ones i suggest doing something a bit like this so you get a two wide window and in the front here this is where the door is going to go so i did something a little different here for the door uh, what I did is I grabbed a spruce door, because they are my favourite door in the game. Set about like that and got some stone brick stairs, like so. And if I, they're in decoration now, get a cobblestone wall and put that there. That is what I did for the side of the house, N is it? Is it? I did, that's what I originally did. Oh no, I did change it in the end. Yeah, I changed it to a wooden trap door. So, like that is what you want for your house front door area, it's like a little porch area and it just gives a little more variation to that side of the wall. On the back here you again want to do another window much like the other one, straight out the back there. And then on this side you can put a window in if you want, I am going to, you don't have to put a window there. And again another window over on this side and you just want to fill those in with glass like before. And voila, bam, there we go, that is the exterior of the boathouse done. And what you can do, of course, is take some mossy and some cracked stone bricks, mix them within the stone bricks you have here, just variate the texture a little bit, that just adds a little bit more. If you wanted to, you can realistically do a lot of things, but now I'm going to show you what I did for the interior. So as you can see, the interior is a little bare and empty, but what I want to do is just put stone bricks in the gaps there, get some oak wood stairs, go along the top of the roof like this so we don't show any of the brick roof and it's just oak wood and I know that's a little boring just fill in all the gaps left with oak wood it's 
probably a bit of a boring interior and you could do better, but that's what I like for the roof in here, it just adds a little bit more. And you could just put something like a small bed. I tend to use a brown bed because it doesn't look too lavish and luxuri luxurious. You can put a little bed in there like that, maybe a bedside table or something, and then you can punch a hole down here, get yourself some ladders, and put ladders there, and just go down here and you can have a small cellar if you wanted to, just stone brick it up, and yeah, the cellar would realistically. It could end there if you didn't mind the oak wood, but if you mind the oak wood, just cut it for you. got a small cellar, and yeah, you could really do whatever you want with the interior, but apart from that, that is essentially the update to the fishing house slash boathouse tutorial that I did almost two years ago, and as you can see, it's not that much different. I didn't want to take away from the original design too much, I just wanted to update and improve it, so that is all I'm going to be doing for today. I hope you enjoyed this update, and I hope it does as well as the original, because this is a better build. Not the best build I've ever done, but I kept it in the sort of simple style that the other one was in. But apart from that, I hope you like, comment, and subscribe to the video, and I will see you in the next tutorial or anything else you watch me in. So see you next time, goodbye.